Hello, friend. I'm Shane Vozar, and today we're going to talk about cup magic tricks. There are many magic tricks that you can do with a cup. Here are two of them which you can practice and perform in front of your friends. The first is called the three cup shuffle magic trick. Here you use a poker chip or a large coin and guess where it is hidden. For you to tell where it is each time, you have to put a piece of invisible thread measuring about three to four inches long tape to it. You have to be sure that no one will see this and know what to look for when the cups are shuffled. The trick begins by explaining to the audience that you can find the chip regardless of which cup they put it in. You then ask someone from the audience if anyone is willing to challenge you on that. Chances are someone always does. Once you have a volunteer, let this person inspect the three identical cups, and when it is finished, you place the chip over one cup and let them shuffle as long as they like. To create suspense, turn your back and only face them again when they are finished. You now look over the three cups, searching for the invisible thread, and when you find it, tap the cup so the volunteer will open it. The second is called the cups and balls trick. The objective here is to let all the balls pass through all the cups. For this, you will need three cups that are not see-through, four identical balls, and a wand. You begin by stacking two of the cups together, then place one of the identical balls into the second cup and place the third cup underneath, hiding the ball. Don't forget to place the other three balls into the third cup before you go on stage. When it is time, dump the three balls onto the table in a row with gaps in between them. Place the cups behind the balls with the cup that has the secret ball in the center. You should practice this often to avoid having the hidden ball come out. To make people... To make people know that the cups are empty, you tap each of the cups using your wand. Then you begin by placing the ball in the center on top of the cup that is behind it and stack the other cups on top. Tap it using your wand, then lift all three cups to show to the audience that the balls have gone through. Next, you place the cup that has the other secret ball on top of the ball that has gone through the cup. Place a ball on top of the cup with the two balls underneath it and put the other two cups on top. Again, you tap using your wand and show once again that the balls have gone through. Put the cup with the remaining secret ball on top of the balls that have already gone through the cup. Now put the last ball on top of the cup that has three balls inside. Put the other two cups on top of that cup that has the balls on top of it, then tap once more to show that the three balls have gone through. This magic trick is a little bit com more complicated than the first, but with some practice you will be able to make people believe that the ball has actually went through the cup. And be sure and click the link in the description to learn more about magic and mentalism. Go click the link, go to the page, and then enter your email and emails will be sent to you about magic tricks and learning magic. And also leave a like and a comment, and be sure and click the link in the description. Thanks so much.